let's find out how are you doing today leo let's get some cards here let's see what is leo doing today how are they doing what's happening for leo five of swords reversed you're leaving uh, an argument behind four of swords reversed you you might be leaving somebody you had an argument with behind or you're burying the hatchet but you could be restless maybe to reconcile with somebody 45 could be significant the number 45 it could be somebody's age also the 5th of april or the 4th of may could be significant so we have aries or taurus here also this is air energy with the four of swords and the five of swords nine of cups reversed queen of swords reversed okay so you might be very angry still it could be that um either you're dealing with somebody who's angry at you who could be a, an air sign could be a libra gemini it could be any air sign actually it could be any air sign who's mad at you for some reason and um this person's very restless this person might want to communicate with you they might want to argue more but you're not granting their wishes so that's what i'm getting that um you're keeping this person at a distance you don't want to deal with them all these cards are in the reverse so you don't want to deal with somebody's arguments you don't want to communicate with somebody or you no longer want to be with this person if you wanted to be with this person in the past you don't want to be with them any longer because you don't want to argue anymore you don't want to have any more conflict with this person so that's the message you're cutting somebody out somebody who's causing conflict who tried to cause conflict in your life you're um leaving them behind let's clarify a bit more let's get a couple of cards to clarify i'm drawn to this one and this one so we've got the three of pentacles in the upright and the ten of wands in reverse okay so you could have been putting up with a lot from this person um and uh, i don't think you want to put you don't want to this person's still trying to burden you with their uh, issues three of pentacles maybe this is somebody you work with or you lived with you could still be living with this person. It's like you cannot free yourself from this yet. Because the Ten of Wands is in reverse. Yeah, because you, there might be some kind of tie that you have with this person. It could be a family member. It could be somebody you work with. It could be somebody you go to church with or something like that. So you are very burdened by this person. But you can't let go of this situation yet. Because you could be tied to this person in some way. So how are you connected to this person? Let's see. Two of Swords. Uh, for the justice system. You could be... You have a contract with this person. Because the Two of Swords makes me think of the justice card. It makes me think of Libra right now. So there's some kind of contract between yourself and this person. This could be a boss. Uh, with the Three of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. This could be a boss who may have... May have also tried to have a relationship with you. Or it could be somebody who's also a friend or used to be a friend of yours. It could also be somebody you live with, literally. You live with this person. You can't shake them. There's some kind of contractual agreement you have with this person that uh, prevents you from walking away from them. But this person could be very mentally unstable and emotionally unstable. So what is your advice? Let's get some advice for Leo. Let's see. Nine of Wands. You have to put up with this. Maybe you're close to the end of putting up with this. I don't know. This doesn't look very good. <laughs> you can make it. I don't know. It's like you're the wounded warrior. You've got some kind of trauma bond with this person maybe. So what's the advice please? Let's get some good advice for Leo regarding this person. Eight of Cups. Walk away. Yeah, you've put up with enough. You need to walk away. But the thing is, if there's some kind of contract, then maybe you need to talk to a lawyer about this because I don't know what kind of advice to give in this situation. So what can the lawyer do? I don't know. Let's see. Let, what would the lawyer say? Holy Spirit, what would the lawyer tell Leo? Can we get the message about from the lawyer? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see this one. Eight of Pentacles. This talks about working on something, putting in an effort, working on something, maybe working on something on your own, rather than working for this person or with this person with the Three of Pentacles. Uh, work on your own. That's kind of the message. I don't know. Also, he might need to read the contract first. 
in order to give you advice, you would have to look at the contract. So take your contract to a lawyer, basically. Whatever contract you have with this person, if this is a work thing, if this is a marriage, then walk away from the marriage. There you go. It's a karmic cycle with this person. You're stuck. You're bound, contractually bound to this person. Let's see one more card. Ten of Pentacles. You might be making a lot of money being married to this person or being uh, in a, working with this person on some kind of capacity. But I don't think this is a happy working relationship. So what other advice? Let's get one more card. Knight of Swords reversed. Don't talk to this person. Yeah, this there's some there's an air sign here. This person has some mental issues. There's no uh, reasoning with this person, so you need to walk away. You need to talk to a lawyer about um, how you can free yourself from this agreement, whatever it is, whether it's a marriage or it's a relationship. We're talking about love, but this talks to me more about work than love. Whatever it could be, a friend of yours. It could also be somebody you're married to and you're working with, or it's a friend you're working with, or something like that. Right. Uh, last card. Nine of Swords. This person has mental issues. That's what I keep getting. Nine of Swords, Knight of Swords reversed, Queen of Swords reversed. And they're a nightmare. They're a nightmare to work with. So yeah, free yourself. What can I say? Free yourself. Four of Wands. Yes, and then you're going to be happy once you free yourself. Also, you, you again, there's some kind of um, clout you're getting, some kind of recognition you're getting by working with this person, by staying with this person. You could be getting fame and fortune. I don't know. Last card again. Five of Cups, but you're not happy. So if you want to be happy, you need to free yourself. Okay, there you go. This was a very long message for a short message, for a quick message, but there you go. It's complicated. Yeah, I hope this helps. Take care.